looking for. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I've ever wanted. And my arms are open wide. What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It is the one and only Optimottos coming to you with another video review. And we're having fun tonight. We're going to be taking a look at part three of the new Transformers Bot Bots. And I'm just... I'm just having a good time. I uh, just got home from work. It's late here in the West Coast. It's uh, actually kind of chilly. My fingers are a little bit cold, uh, so I'm hoping these lights kind of warm them up. Uh, but yeah, we got some bot bots, you know, because that's what I like. Uh, packaging is basically the same as I've uh, shown here before. Uh, you got the individual uh, packs right here, which are totally random. It can be anything. We're going to open this up, and we're going to make it go. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, I thought this is different. What are you? Do you, do you spin? Oh, that does spin. That's kind of cool. Oh, it looks like a little piggy. Oh, that's cool. Uh, oh, that kind of looks like a pencil sharpener. All right, so uh, who are you? Now, these do have the instructions in here. So we're going to take this, and we don't need that anymore. Uh, so he is looking at the instructions. He is Cranks. Um, and he's part of the backpack bunch. Uh, as you can see, you got a whole bunch of these little dudes that are like school uh, things. And again, you got the little uh, checklist here on the back. There are 61 to collect. I suppose all, all, all said and done. Uh, so you have cranks. Let's see what's in this one. What is this? Uh, twenty. This says twenty-four. You know, maybe just in like these individual ones. I don't know. Cause are these? These are. Yeah. This. This is all series one stuff. So we're gonna go. Yeah. That's really what I sound like when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> flashlight oh man i'm just having fun with you guys tonight i hope everybody's doing well happy 2019 to you guys this is the new optobotomous goofy optobotomous uh let's see uh, what do we got what do i got the, the little checklist uh this is dimlet <laughs> he's part of the lost bots tribe uh and we're gonna play with this guy here in a bit, so we got uh, cranks and dimlet, and then we're <coughs> no. there we go. <laughs> uh, so so far, all of these um, individual packs. Uh, what is, is that? A corn dog? Did they did they give me a corn dog? It was... I don't even know. Uh, so, so far, all of these individual packs, I haven't gotten any duplicates. These ones here, I uh, do have a couple duplicates. And so, again, those are going to go to patrons. www.patreon.com slash Uh This is part of the Greaser game, and this is Septog. Septog. He does totally look like, uh, like a corn dog. But who puts ketchup on corn dogs? I mean, I... Put, I guess that's supposed to stay down like that. I put mustard on my corn dogs. Uh, I don't know why you would put ketchup on it. But uh, so that's pretty cool that all of the uh, little individual guys here. Is he going to stand? He's not. I'm just going to set him here. Uh, the individual blind packs here. I didn't get any duplicates. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, but like I said, I do have some duplicates. Up here that I'm gonna have to work on. Here we have uh, the two pack. You or well, it's a four pack, but two of them here are part of the toilet troop. Uh, these two guys right here uh, are duplicates. Uh, I forgot their names. Uh, that's like the little uh, hairspray thing, uh, <laughs> the toilet paper one. These two dudes here are new guys, so I'm excited about that. And then you do have a blind one in here. We'll take a look at that here in a bit. And then here is the big pack. Uh, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like a seven pack. 
uh, or five pack of just uh, generic ones. But uh, these little guys right here are part of the greaser game. These ones here, I don't actually know what these, I don't think, tur Twerple? What? Do they have the names on here? I never even noticed that before. Twerple, Twerple Burple. What is Torpo Burple? I don't know what that is. Uh, Angry Cheese. I'm guessing maybe that's the the pizza. Uh, but uh, Deuteroni. Oh, no. Maybe that's Deuteroni. I don't, I don't know. Uh, hot Diggity. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, but you do have that. And then this is this gives you instructions on how, how did you poop these out. So, um... These, we're going to get these open up, uh, and we're going to have some fun with these. Uh, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. Come on back. And right after these messages, we'll have these guys opened up so that we can see how cool they actually are. Pop bots. We got pop bots up in here. All right. So here we have the new figures open up and out of their packaging. And again, like I said, these are the uh, little mini blind packs that I took a look at. This is that smaller, uh, like, three-pack set, which also does come with a blind one, as you can see. I got another duplicate. And then uh, this was the uh, five-pack set here with uh, two of the greaser guys and another blind box one that, again, another duplicate. But the rest are actually pretty cool. So uh, starting off first with these guys, uh, as you can see, as I said, uh, a couple duplicates here. I, I forgot. The, well, this is a uh, Frohawk and this is King Toots. Uh, still really very nice. You got these little guys uh, in terms of the transformation. Uh, this is uh, Frohawk as is Robot. The legs uh, don't like staying out very well. Uh, and this is him as the little uh, spray can, uh, the graffiti artist type of thing. One thing that, that is interesting though is the, the instructions show that his helmet thing here like collapses down more and covers up his eye. I can't get this to move at all. Uh, neither of these like budge whatsoever, but the instructions uh, you can clearly see show that it comes down and at least covers up his eyes. Uh, so it doesn't do that on here, but uh, there you got Frohawk, so sending him there. And then here we have King Toots. He's toilet paper. Yay, yeah, no, cause whatever. And here's his little robot form. Uh, again, really very fun. I like how they have this opening up as if he's got these little wraps that are just kind of going all over his body and everything like a mummy would be. Oh, I guess it's kind of like that. But uh, really very fun. I, I, I do dig that quite quite a bit so setting that over there uh, and then here we have dimlet uh, now as i said this is a duplicate so this is going to be going out to my patrons as well uh, as you can see he's a little bit of a flashlight so nice color on there you got an on and off switch right there you got a little blue section here for the light overall pretty pretty fun looking now uh, for him you rotate his head around and look how happy he is he's such a happy little dimlet <laughs> and then these arms Again, a lot of these are very tricky to get uh, to pull out. So I'm just going to keep using this little wedging tool. It's a nail file. It's a nail file because I clearly have nails and, you know, need them filed, I guess. And then you pull these legs down. There you have them in his little robot mode. So again, uh, regular mode, flashlight, robot mode. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Take that, put that off in the pile for the good old patrons of mine. Uh, up next here, we have Sticky McGee, which as you can see, he's a little uh, like scotch tape dispenser. Let me come in a little bit. You can see that he got some overall uh, decent color on here with uh, like the tape right there, but it's mostly just in this uh, orangish sort of plastic, at least here in the robot mode. So to transform him, you this is kind of tough it's like tight right here so well here let's pull these legs down rotate this around thusly and then his head it, his head's on like this little shifting thing here which helps to kind of get his head around but when you transform him you get more detail with the face uh it's just like a blank screen on his face but then you get some silver paint uh, on his hands down in the leg area a little bit of blue paint right there so it does add some extra color to him and he's got some really big legs uh like really big legs so there you have sticky and mcgee and then we have i don't even know 
I'm going to be able to say this. This is uh, Uni La Ice Queen Cone. I, I don't even know. Uh, some some kind of uh, ice cream, I, I'm guessing. But uh, pretty fun looking, though, honestly. Again, very simple in terms of the color. A uh, little ice cream. You got a little cone shoved in there. And then uh, transformation for this little dude. You know, pull that little tail thingy down spin this around and then you open all this up like that this is going to kind of just hinge back like so and then you rotate all these little legs down um so it's like uni you uni uniella ice cream cone it's supposed to be like uh, I, i'm guessing like some kind of um uh, unicorn type of thing, uh, I, I, I guess, um, but <laughs> kind of looks like a little tiny, maybe, maybe if I go like that, that would make it look a little bit better, eh, no, I mean, this is kind of just there and kind of in the way, but it kind of looks like a little, uh, sheep of sorts, but hey, it's kind of cute still nonetheless, so set that there. There you have that set. Uh, really fun. Uh, I enjoy it. It's it's a good set. Uh, moving over to these blind ones again. Uh, I already took a look at this, so this is again going to end up in uh, the pile. Then here we have a uh, sup dog, which like I said, looks like he's a little corn dog, but why would you, I mean, see like, here's a hot dog. You put mustard on that. Who puts ketchup on, on any kind of a, a dog related thing? I, I don't know about all that. That just flips up just like so. These little arms, these hinge out. A lot of the like arms, you'll notice kind of like collapse in uh, and just kind of hang along the side like that and then you spread his legs and there you have him it's up dog sup dog there he is next we have Karinx, which like i said uh is like a pencil sharpener kind of thing but also kind of looks like a little piggy doesn't he i mean definitely looks like a little piggy so for him we're going to bring these little arms out uh, maybe a little bit easier like that maybe Come on, maybe something like that. Just pull these out. I don't even know if they actually rotate. They don't feel like they rotate. His whole head shifts up. Uh, uh, maybe I'm not pulling them out all the way. There we go, yeah. Make sure you pull them out all the way. And it's really stiff, but you'll get the, uh, the rotation clearance to be able to uh, rotate his arms around. So... Something, yeah, something like that. It's really, really stiff. Really stiff. And then these little legs here uh, rotate around. So there we go. So there you have cranks, um, which again just kind of looks like a little piggy uh, in, in this mode. I'm not sure if that's what he's uh, supposed to be. There we go. Got those all the way up there. But he's still fun. Uh, and then you can like use that as a little tail. So. I do dig that. Uh, so those were the little mini uh, blind packs that we got. Uh, again, really fun, uh, unique looking. I, I do like that. Eventually, I'm going to start getting more duplicates. We're starting to see that more here, especially when you come over here to see that I got another of uh, this guy. Uh, so three now of him. I now have triplicates of this guy. And still, his head doesn't collapse down at all either. So... <sighs> So there, we're just gonna set him over yonder, but again, another duplicate. Sadly, uh, there's a lot more duplies uh, over in this side than just that guy. As I said, uh, this is Stink Eye Stapleton. Uh, unfortunately, another duplicate, uh, but I do really love the way that this guy looks. She's a very cool looking um, character, I guess. And I just love the name uh, Stink Eye, I mean, because he's giving you stink eye right there. But alas, it is not the only other one. Uh, we do have Lolly Licks, which is another duplicate. Uh, this is uh, the backside here. But you can see the little robot mode and the lollipop mode. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lollipop. Everybody's saying lolly, lolly, lollipop. 
boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's it. Well, I guess I should leave these out here. So uh, we're going to take a look at more. And the next uh, duplicate is going to be Arctic Guzzle Rush. Guzzler Rush. Um, again, little uh, bottle, squeeze bottle, like sports bottle or something like that. Here's his little robot mode. So another duplicate. And then, unfortunately, Screen Fiend. Which, I don't know why he's a fiend. I mean, he just looks like... That's about it. I mean... And I still don't know what this is. Is this... I mean, like, is this supposed to be... Like a... A phone? I'm guessing maybe it's like a touchscreen phone. I'm, I'm guessing. Because that's... Maybe, like, that's the screen. That's, like, where the camera would be. That's maybe the speaker. I, I don't know. Um, so... We do got that as well. So unfortunately, we got uh, four duplicates there. But we do have a couple new guys. Here is Cuddle Tooth. He's a little buzzsaw dude. Kind of cool looking now uh, for him. Uh, what is this dude? I think this is just like this lifts up and then yeah, that rotates around. Wow, that is a so you, you got it like that. Then you got a really angry looking by you got some like little red beady eyes in there that's angry looking and let's pop out his little arms these again tiny and they they get in here uh very uh very tightly so I'll just pull that out pull that out and then you just spread that apart and there you have cuddle tooth uh, again, the, he's an angry looking dude, uh, really angry looking, but fun. I, I, I really do like the way he looks as well. He's fun. We have Dude Aroni. He is a pepperoni pizza. He's probably Michelangelo's favorite. That's my guess. You spin him around and there's his face. And I like how they have like the little pepperoni thing that comes on here. But no, no, no. No, it doesn't taste very good, but you, you know, you can do what you do. So, we're going to flip these little fellers. Flip it down. Flip it down. Just like that. And then, I'm gonna, oh, pull his leg off. Spin it. Spin it. He's got legs. Oh, what, what is happening? Why am I dropping them? Then pull these out, and look! There's robot arms. You can spin that around too. Little robot arms. Hello, look at me. I'm a little. I'm a little pizza dude. He's he's a tricky little guy to kind of get everything to work. But is the pizza dude, Duderoni. I like this guy. Uh, he's fun looking. Uh, he kind of looks like a little bodybuilder dude. Hello, I'm a dude. That's it. That's Deuteroni there, guys. So we got uh, Deuteroni. We have a corn dog. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, and last, but certainly not least, Hot Diggity. He is a hot dog. You can see you got the little bun. You got mustard. It also comes on like a little case thing right here. I love it. Just loving it. Let's uh, separate this like that. There's his arms. Separate this. There's his head. Bring that. Let's see. These uh, swivel in. Pull this out. All right. So you swivel that out. It's a little bit loose. Flippity, flippity, flappity. But the amazing thing. You can rotate this around. Get that around to the back. He has little tiny arms. Hello. And I love his face. He's a little hot dog. But see, you, you can stand him perfectly fine because the even though it's flippity floppity, he still stands. Uh, so, more great characters here. Uh, I'm really loving, honestly, really, really loving what Hasbro is doing with these guys. Uh, they're doing doing something different for them, I feel. And 
they're fun. And like I said, I really feel like these could be totally things that you could collect uh, and trade. I think that's part of the generic appeal of them, uh, that you can do that kind of stuff. Like, for example, because I got two of these guys, what really is to stop me from taking him and saying, hey, I have an extra of him. Do you have an extra Deuteroni? Pretend I don't have Deuteroni. So do you want to trade? Uh, I mean, I totally could see that as being an out. I don't know if that's something that Hasbro thought about uh, in doing this. Uh, they probably did, but it's not something that I feel like a lot of people are kind of uh, advertising with these. Uh, I think that that's an underused, underutilized aspect of this new sort of collectible. And they're completely unique and new characters. They're not based off of Ironhide or Ratchet or Optimus Prime or Bumblebee or Starscream. I mean, it's they're all unique and totally new kind of uh, takes on things. Uh, so I love it. Uh, I, I think that they're great. There's a lot more that are coming. And again, to the folks over at Hasbro, I do want to send you a huge thanks for sending these out so that I can take a look at them and show them and really share them as well with everybody because I think that they're very, very cool. So all that being said, these new Transformer Bot Bots are available right now at various retailers. Or as always, you can check out places such as Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to BBTS and you can check out available ability on these as well as the rest of the wide range of transformer figures but beyond that guys that's about it remember if you like this video i would really appreciate your support simply by hitting that thumbs up button believe it or not that one small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out and i would really really appreciate it also, a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, a huge shout out to the folks over at Hasbro for helping to make this review possible. And finally, remember guys, the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.